What's good, Joe? Your boy back again in that all black again. Now y'all see the title, man. Today we're going to be talking about sharing your dreams with people and why you should be careful with who you share your goals and your dreams with. Uh, this applies to women and men, but today I'm going to be talking about these niggas. Now y'all might be thinking like, why? Why do you have to be careful with who you share your goals and your dreams with, boy? Because niggas are haters. That's just what it is, bro. The average nigga is a hater. I would say like 60% of niggas, at least 60% of niggas, probably a little bit higher, are haters, bro. So, when you tell a nigga your dreams, the first thing that the average nigga is going to think when you tell him your goals or your dreams is, who this nigga think he is to believe that he can actually do something like this? And that's some hating ass shit, bro. You would be thinking this nigga's your man's, but whole time, this nigga like, hell no. I ain't about to do nothing to try to help this nigga accomplish his goals. Fuck that. This nigga think he better than me. Think he can do, do this and that. No, hell no. You know what I'm saying? And then, what's funny about it is, you will show a nigga some shit that you working on or tell a nigga what you got going on, and a nigga will know what you doing is fire. He will see the potential in it, but he still won't say that. He is still act like, oh, that shit all right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's cool. Even though his head, he thinking like, damn, how the hell did this nigga do this? You know what I'm saying? And his head, he jealous as hell in his head. This nigga like, what the, f-? you know what I'm saying? But on the outside, he like, no, I can't show that. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want this nigga to know what he doing is fire. This nigga already got enough confidence to be out here actually trying to do the shit. So I ain't about to help this nigga and boost his confidence even more by telling him what he doing is fire. Nope, I'm about to try to make this nigga question what he's doing, make this nigga second guess himself by acting like this shit is just all right. And that's what a lot of niggas do, bro. Then sometimes a nigga might dislike you for another reason, so now he don't even want to give what you're doing a chance. So he really believe what you're doing is trash, even though he ain't even gave it a chance. He ain't even heard you out. He judging you based off of some whole other shit, you know what I'm saying? So not all the time is a nigga just straight up hating on what you're doing. Sometimes a nigga just not even giving you a chance based off of some different shit, you know what I'm saying? So he really thinking what you're doing is trash because he judging you off some completely different shit that don't have nothing to do with what it is that you're doing, the content that you're making, whatever it is, the music or comedy or acting, whatever the hell it is, whatever business you're trying to run, whatever it may be. It don't have nothing to do with that, but a nigga still discredit you. A nigga still be like, oh, I ain't listen to that nigga. He the same nigga that did this and that. He the same nigga that used to do this and that. And they'll bring up some small little mistake that you made to, and try to define you all off of that. And this type of shit these hating ass niggas do. Because niggas don't want to see you win because they don't feel like they going to win. And seeing you win is like, damn, why I ain't blessed with this talent? Why I don't got the courage to go in? Do what I really want to do. And these niggas be frustrated by that shit, bro. And you will be questioning yourself like, damn, I know what the hell I'm doing is fire. Why is niggas acting like they don't feel the shit? And it's because either the nigga just flat out hating on you or because the nigga don't like you so he don't even want to hear what the hell you got to say or the nigga just used to you doing shit that's Out of the ordinary, he used to you being great. That's another thing. A lot of times, a nigga, well, not a lot of times, but every once in a while, a nigga might not be hating on you. A nigga might just be used to your greatness. And he don't even realize that. He don't even realize how he reacting, you know what I'm saying? He don't even realize that you coming to him looking for some some type of motivation or something. And he just like, yeah, that shit cool. Because he done reacted to your shit. The things that you doing so many times, you know what I'm saying? So he not really that impressed. He like, I know this nigga smart. I know this nigga can do great things, you know what I'm saying? He ain't that excited about it because he used to it. It ain't that the nigga hating on you, know what I'm saying? But that's a small number of people, you know what I'm saying? Most niggas is going to either be just flat out hating on you or they ain't even going to give you a chance based on some shit that don't got nothing to do with what you pushing. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is, man. Now, y'all go ahead. Let me know what y'all think about this topic. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Your boy, y'all.